Hello friends, in this video, we will discuss about the given problem, design of a two-bit binary multiplier. Binary multiplier means it is a digital circuit used to perform the multiplication of two binary numbers. Here it is two-bit binary multiplier. That's why each number should be represented with the two bits. Now, let us take two numbers as A and B. A with two bits, A0, A1, and B with two bits, B0, B1. Now, we should multiply these two numbers A and B. B0, B1 is multiplying with A0, A1. Okay. So, first we should multiply with A0. Later, we should multiply with A1 and then add. Okay. A0, B0 means this is the first product. A0, B1, this is the next product. Next one. Multiply with the A1. A1, B0. Next, A1, B1. So, here this is the first partial product. This is the second partial product. Okay, two. now we should add these two partial products to find the final product. Okay, so to get the final product, A0, B0. A0, B0 means when we apply binary data. Binary data means here A0, A1 means 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Four combinations of binary we can apply. Similarly, for B also 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. Now, to understand this multiplication, let us take the binary multiplication with two bits. 1, 1 is multiplying with 1, 1. Okay. So, first we should multiply with 1. 1, 1 means 1. 1, 1 means 1 multiplication. Next, multiply with this one. 1, 1 means 1. 1, 1 is 1. Now, here this is a first partial product. This is second partial product. Now, we should add these two partial products to get the final product. Here, only single bit in the LSP position, directly we should take it as 1. 1 plus 1 means its a sum is 0. It gives the carry 1. Okay, this is carry. Next, 1 plus 1. Again, sum is 0. It gives the carry 1. 1. Okay, so this is the final product value. Now, we should label it with the variables. This is C0, this is C1, this is C2. Finally, this is the C3. Okay, in the same way, we should write here. A0, B0 means C0. A0, B1 means this is one bit. A1, B0 means another bit. When we add these two bits, it gives the sum and carry. This is the sum bit C1. Next, along with the carry, we should add A1, B1 so that it gives the C2. Next, it gives the sum and carry again. Here, we should get the carry. This carry should write in leftmost position. Therefore, C0, C1, C2, C3. These are the product bits. Okay. Now we should develop the circuit diagram with the help of this concept. Okay. Here when we observe this one, A0, B0 means this is only one single product. That means it gives the only one single bit. Okay. This is C0. Okay. Just like one bit one. Okay. Similarly, in the second position, A0, B1 plus A1, B0. That means here this is the first bit, this is second bit. That means we are adding two bits. Two bit addition means it requires one half header. Okay. This half header provides the sum and carry. Okay. Sum is C1. Carry should be added to the next order bits. Next one, add A1, B1 with the previous carry. Okay. So again, it requires half header because again here we have two bits. Okay. Again, the output of half header means this is the sum and it gives the carry. This carry is the final carry. Okay. So, based on this logic, we should develop the circuit diagram. To develop the circuit diagram, we should use the logic gates. Okay. So, here C0 is the output bit. That means J0, P0 is the C0. Okay. So, A0, P0 means end gate we have to use. These two are inputs. A0, P0, the output is C0. Okay. Next one. A0, B1. For this, we should use the second AND gate. And A1, B0 means it also requires another AND gate. Now, the output of these two AND gates connected to the half header. Okay, to provide the next sum bit C1 and it gives the carry. This carry should be added to the next order bits. Here, for this second AND gate, the inputs are A0, B1. So, for, from this A0, we should take the connection. B1 is the another input. Okay, this is the output of AND gate. Next one is A1, B0. So here this is B0. Next from this we should take the A1. A1, B0 are inputs. The output is also connected to the half header. From this half header we should get the sum and carry. Okay, this is the carry. Here it is A1, B1. A1, B1 means it also requires another end gate. 
okay this is the a1 already there is a connection so that we should use the node and take the connection a1 b1 the output is also connected to half header because for this half header the output of indicate is one bit and carry is another bit okay so again we are getting two bits that's why we are using half header so from this half header we should find the c2 is the sum and carry output carry this so in this way we should develop the circuit diagram for two bit binary multiplier okay i hope you understand this concept if you like my video please subscribe to my channel dl request and like this video and share to your friends thank you